village as you all know my girl is in the village right now okay <laughs> so yes if you are a new subscriber you are highly welcome if you are a returning subscriber oh you know what's up now you're welcome and if you are new to the channel and you're here to subscribe please do not forget to subscribe to my channel that is if you have not done that already after watching this video do not forget to share also leave a comment and of course give this video a thumbs up and when you subscribe to the channel do not forget to turn on the notification button so you get notified anytime I upload a new video, okay? In this video, I am going to show you guys what our village compound, what it looks like, um, the building, everything we have here in the compound. It is like, a, it's a very, very big compound, so we have a lot of things in this compound. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything in the compound. So starting from this, this is just like our village house. This is the building uh, where we sleep. In here we have um, the rooms. We have about four rooms inside this building. I'm not going to be showing you guys that right now, okay? Because that is not what this video is about. If you want to see a video on that, just let me know in the comment section and I will make a video about that, okay? So now this is the uh, village building. And um, right here we have a... Um, it's right in front of the house we have the village um so this is where we cook this is a local stove it is just like it's a stone in yoruba land they call it um isha in Igbo land they call it eku okay so you just sit here and you make your fire and you cook okay and uh, if you want to make your fire this is just like a support for your pot so it does not fall if you want to cook and you don't want your pot to fall you just need to make it um, steady and you need to make, use this if you want your pot to be steady on the on the what is it on the local stove okay so if you want your pot to be steady you kind of use this to support the pot and um, this is um, um, this is a local grinder if you want to grind something you can just do it this way like pepper onion anything you want to grind this and trust me guys it is very very effective if you want to grind something you can just do it this way like like this okay it's very very smooth this is um you know that pistol you know in, in the one you know at least the close to more than one is called pistol and this one is just like a pistol and this one is just like a mortar so you cannot use it like this to grind pepper onion anything you want to blend that is what this is for okay and this is um have our rope, where we will spread the clothes, if you, just uh, if you wash your clothes, and you need to spread them, you need to dry, this is where you kind of hang your clothes, so that it can dry up, okay, and this is um cassava, you know, if you eat apu, I think fufu, they call it fufu here, if you eat fufu, this is um, it's still, this one, we are still processing this one. This one, they just did it about three or four days, three days ago or so. So I think after four days, we are going to um, sieve it and turn it into fufu proper. So this one is still, we'll just leave it here to soak for days, okay? This is what it looks like. This one is about um, two or three days old. Okay, so after four days, we are going to sieve it and turn it into the proper fufu. And here we have um, our lime tree. We have our lime tree here. In case you did anything to do with lime. You know in the city you kind of go to the market to buy lime. But here, 
we have the tree here in the village. So if you need anything, if you need to do anything in line, you get it from this place. You don't need to go to the market. And um, here we fowl. And I think we have um just um little fowl. We don't have much here. This is it. I don't want to open the cage because I don't want the fowls to come out. But this is what it looks like, okay? It's two in the compound. We have two here. This is another one. This is where we train the fowls. Local fowl cage. And, um, and right here we have um, the gate cage, okay? It's just a local a gate cage. This is where we keep the goats. You know to avoid them from running away and destroying people's crops people's farm and all that so we just keep kind of cage them here this is what it looks like in here so this is what it looks like in here you can see we have um a lot of goats here <laughs> the goat is scared <laughs> i think he's running away from me so this is what it looks like and all that um yeah I want to close it so get the ghost does not come out. And yeah, we have a lot of plantains. Yeah, this is like a plantain. <laughs> Our own little plantain plantation, I do want. <laughs> so yeah, we have a lot of plantains here. They have not started, they have not started um, producing fruits yet. But I think this one has one fruit. Like this one now it is too big you cannot use it like this you need to break it with axe before you use it okay so this is the firewood where we keep it and um now this place is the um this place is um the banga factory our only two banga factory where we produce palm oil okay so guys in our community if you need um if you need palm oil, you can. This the drums are empty, but this is the drums we use. Um, so this is the one that is waiting to be cooked this morning. We have this evening, okay? So in the evening we'll start cooking this one. Then tomorrow we'll do the proper production of the palm fruit. This is what the palm fruit look, looks like, and this is where it is produced. This kind of this engine we use it to um grind it this is what we use to grind the palm fruit okay and um yeah you can see it is very big this one you use it to compress the oil you know kind of bring out the oil okay after grinding it in the other one you kind of bring out the oil here and uh, yes after after that you kind of get a pan kernel from it and this is where we keep the kernel this is where we keep the pan kernel. And this pan kernel can be used for many things. You can use this to um, produce them. Um, you know, Vaseline, a local Vaseline, you can use it to produce this, a local oil for the body, a local body cream, and a lot of other things. You can also eat it, like you can break it and eat if you want. You can use it to drink gary if you want, okay? So <laughs> you can eat it, use it to eat a lot of things. Yeah, I think that will be all for our little compound. We don't have... Okay, let me show you guys. <laughs> and this is our local bedroom. What we bet? Okay. Yes, this is just our local bedroom. Let's see the inside. Yeah, if you want to bet, you can just stand here. You can just stand on top of this. You know, look for somewhere to keep your bucket. You keep your soap here. Kind of keep your soap here, your soap dish, and everything. You keep it here, okay? And you can just bait, and no one will see you. Of course, if even if someone is going to see you, the person is just going to see only your head or your face, okay? That is just it. That's 
basically it for our little village compound tour that is all i have to show you guys so please i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to give it a thumbs up do not also forget to leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not done that already please and of course i'll see you all in my next video bye i love you guys bye